morning everybody, Jason Pete Hollis Farms. I'm back on my Olympus Tough Cam this morning. I really like this thing. I'm studying on another camera to, to use. Uh, like I said, I kind of study off and on, especially if I start having problems with a camera and uh, trying to do something to make it better and watch other folks and kind of see some of the stuff they do. That's all only way to learn but anyway I am hoping I changed SD cards and I think I had an SD card that was going bad but anyway we'll see if it works today it is foggy this morning I think it's gonna be kind of overcast all day got some possible rain coming in this evening and uh, we'll run down here and see what the loggers is doing how they do it I think they had a pretty good day yesterday I didn't stay down there all day with them We'll run down there and check on them and then kind of see what else we can get into. Foggy this morning, got the windshield all wet. I just heard the cutter man over here. Kind of surprised they cutting with some weather moving in and as much as they got on the ground. All them that's marked blue are poles. Skitter rolling over there. I see the cutter way over there. He done got out in the middle. They got down here to the end and kind of working their way back towards the loading path. It's a little rough in my fire lane, but it was a little rough to start with. I think it'll settle on back down. I, I'll disc it another time or two before I burn it, I'm sure. Make sure it don't get out in these little ones. These some big trees right here. Our trees usually don't get this big, but we let this stand get big. Loaded a truck while I was riding around the other side. They're rolling. Don't take many of them to make a load. turning green a little clover coming back I didn't plant any clover here it's an interesting thing I actually sprayed this thing with Roundup some of that old clover will come back after the Roundup wheat's coming up pretty decent right there have a pretty good stand all right y'all this is the field that I showed y'all before that's been underwater up to the road here before 
finally got cotton planted in it. They a little behind compared to some people. They started bailing it. That thing looked like a huge lake a lot of times through the winter and the spring. Alright y'all, so uh, I oh, have been fighting this little Tacticam. Golly, new technology stuff drives me nuts. I mean nuts. But I'm going to bound and determine to figure it out. And what I'm about to do, I think I got it figured out where it's working. I've got several different mounts for it. One's for the scope mount where you can see through it. And one's just like you put on a shotgun. The main one right now is the stabilizer mount. So I got the little Matthews hammer out. I'm fixing to get it mounted up and try to do a few test shots with it. And we'll see what it looks like. It's got a regular video and then a slow-mo and then a zoom. But I'm just going to concentrate on the video right now. You can change all of them real quick, but... We got a, whew, it's going to take some practice on this one. All right, y'all, so I got her mounted on the bow. Pretty simple. Just screws in where your stabilizer used to go that I took off. Slide the camera in the end. It's got a little set screw right here. And this thing, it's, it's pretty simple to use once you get used to it. It's like everything else takes time. It's just uh, one touch right here. And it cuts on, but you can change it between uh, regular video, slow mo. I know you can take a picture with it. There's one more setting. Oh, zoom. And you can preset your zoom. And I've done a little bit of that. I think what I'm going to do, I'm going to try to make three shots at the target with the three different settings, and we'll see how it works and see if I can get it done. So, y'all bear with me. And one reason I wanted to get this is self is pretty tough. Every once in a while, maybe I couldn't get my big camera on them or something, so we'll always have video, or if we happen to be sitting on the ground hunting and can't get to the camera. I've seen some footage from these things. They're pretty good. Oh, I, I've got it set just on a normal setting right now, and I may try to up that a little bit. Sometimes uploading and downloading and all that stuff's kind of tough when you get that extra quality. But uh, And also turkey hunting. Sometimes you can't get on. We mount this thing right on a shotgun. And I've got an adapter that goes on your scope, too. And whatever I dial my scope on to, that's what the camera's going to be seeing. So it's going to be pretty interesting to play with. Just a, another view and another deal to where we try not to miss the action. All right, I'm going to take two three. I'm going to take three shots on three different settings, and we're going to see what they look like. But it's a pretty cool deal. About done running the battery down trying to figure out how to use it. All right, y'all, those were three shots with the Tacticam. One just regular, and I think that's going to be fine for uh, bow hunting. Uh, one was zoomed in, and one was slow-mo, and apparently I didn't do something right on that because it didn't slow-mo, but that's no problem. I can edit the slow-mo in. I'm not really worried about that. Uh, I think the wider angle, the better is going to be they make a wider angle camera that is going to be fine uh, after the shot you know when you move your bow you kind of miss a little bit there but it's going it's going to be handy to uh to use i just got to figure out i'm thinking when you change the mode you got to do it on the wi-fi on your phone and who's going to have time i probably won't have time to do that while i'm hunting so probably just going to use it just on the normal setting i do want to adjust on it you can do up to 4K and all that stuff. A 4K is too... You can't hardly upload 4K for what we're doing to you, to YouTube. But there's some... I got a 1080p, 30, whatever, all them different things are. I got to figure it out exactly where I want that. But we figured out how to use it. That's the main thing. Then we can tune on it from there. 
but I think it's going to be alright, the little Tacticam. Alright y'all, so here's what I decided to do now. Uh, went ahead and fed the dogs. It's hot, humid, hazy, sticky. But, kind of caught up for the rest of the evening. Probably, I don't know, two and a half hours or so before dark. So, I grabbed me a little chair like I use in my blind and my tripod. I think I'm just going to... I may not ever sit down. I'm just going to ease around and I kind of want to go sit on one of the clover fields, just kind of a low impact hunt. And I just, just don't want to spook nothing on a day like today. I don't like spooking anything anyway, but I sure don't want to do that today and it hot because I just don't feel like big buck today, you know. But I kind of want to go stay in the groove of hunting a little bit and, uh, so I may go to one of our clover fields or something, or either one of these tops in the sawtooth and sit down. I ain't made my mind up. Kind of got to watch the wind. Wind's kind of goofy today, but and it swirls down here bad all the time. But, so I'm gonna go try to find us a spot and uh, sit up for a little while. It's supposed to rain here sometime, but anyway, go sit down and relax for a little while anyway. This will be a lot of luck to pull this off, but we're going to try for a little while. Sure, if y'all can see her, she wasn't but about six or seven yards. She was too close. I could have shot her over there. The camera and the tripod sitting there. She needed to be feeding and take about two more steps, and I could have got her. She picked me out. She was too close. That was a lot of fun right there. Though we just about pulled it off. I put a little camouflage on. That hunting them on the ground stuff, I guess, but that was fun. Without the camera, I could have easily turned and shot her over there. Easy. Because I had a hole right there. And, uh, I could have smoked her. She had a leg forward and her had turned that way, but when she got right in front of me, she busted her. That was falling up. Lots of falling right there. All right, y'all made it out. That was a pretty fun afternoon hunt. I don't know. There were some turkeys that came in the field. I'm not sure if I had them in the viewfinder when I was trying to film them. And then that doe come in there. Golly. She was eight yards or less. And like I said, if I'd have had trimmed a limb to the right, the tripod was right in the way. I could have easily... When she was about 15 yards, she was turned perfect by facing the other way. Could have drilled her or shot at her, missed her, whatever. I could have got a shot, but she just got in there too tight, fed right down the edge instead of down the middle. But man, was that not fun. I just hope she was on the in the viewfinder when I had the camera on. But anyway, pretty good day. Didn't even cut the tactic cam on. She kind of come down through there and just, I really forgot about it. But we'll get that deal figured out. It'll be a lot easier to figure out in a tree, but... Pretty fun afternoon. Appreciate y'all watching. Out of here.